So this simple hemocytometer simulation uh, is uh, was created for Dr. Tim Newsom at the University of Sydney uh, as part of his virology class. I also made a couple of other little things for Tim, uh, which to do with hemagglutination and the plaque assay. Um, and they form a little package for, for that whole course, a, a part of a narrative of an experiment. Um, basically, the operation is very simple. You generate a new sample. And you can see that the detail is quite nice. We've got the cells, but we've also got some debris. We've got some dead cells. We can, we can zoom in and look at particular sections of this. So we can really get to grips with what's happening at the, at the goal line. Uh, we can select cells and count and sort of keep a, a manual count. It, and then when we've decided how many cells there are in each quadrant, then we can start entering them into this uh, little grid over here. So just suppose I thought there were 34 alive and three dead and so on. I filled in all of that. Uh, then I can check. And what the computer will do is it will actually tell me how many live and dead there were in each quadrant. Uh, and it will show which ones it's, it thinks are in or out of the, the borders. And that you know is basically what it does. One of the nice things about this system is that if you get a spread like this, you can repeat exactly the same concentration, but see a different pattern. So this is exactly the same number of cells being put on the hemocytometer, but just randomly allocated each time. So each of these are absolutely identical in terms of number. If we found that there was a lot of cells, so let's actually cycle through this until we get one where there's a lot. So let's suppose that was, we wouldn't think that was too many. We can take that sample and dilute it just like you do in a real lab. And now there's half as much. And now there's half as much again. And now there's half as much again. Um, conversely, if you felt that there wasn't enough cells to get a good count, you can resuspend and effectively concentrate. So that will concentrate twofold, that will concentrate another twofold, that'll concentrate another twofold, and so on. So students can go through those cycles of reflecting on the number of cell counts they're getting and whether or not that's sufficient to make a good estimate of the, the total cell concentration. Uh, and then, of course, they can dilute or concentrate as necessary so that they do get defensible numbers. So that's a pretty uh, nice implementation. It's, there's some lovely graphics going on here. As you can see, there's this nice little swimmy effect. Um, there's a vignette that gives a slightly bit, uh, uh, brighter field in the middle. There's bits of dirt and dust and... Um, floaty bits all over the place. So it's you start to get quite an authentic rendition of what a hemocytometer looks like. And again, all the results pass to a database. So all of the estimates that a student puts in um, can be tallied against what the actual um, spread was. Uh, plagiarism-free assignments, um, all possible.